This is the story of a magical place, the owner's love affair with a racehorse, and an Irish-born author determined 80 years on to make sure it's never forgotten. Rodney Danger treated this horse like a son. He lost an infant son um, in the late 20s, and I always felt maybe that Peter Pan was a bit of a substitute for that. Um, the horse was, was everything to him. Peter Pan was every bit the fairy tale. The year was 1932, the midst of the Great Depression, and Australia had lost a legend, Farland. But was it possible that at the same time his equal was just getting started? He's got it. Look at Peter Pan go back onto Dennis Boy. In the Melbourne Cup, Peter Pan was knocked off his feet, but from a seemingly impossible position recovered to win our great race. The victory epitomised a turbulent time, giving hope after it all seemed lost. And Australia quickly fell in love with the flashy chestnut. He was even given a postage stamp. It was very unfortunate for Peter Pan that he came along, you know, right after Farlap. And if he'd come along maybe a decade later, probably would have all of those accolades and he'd be remembered and he would be, you know, statues of him everywhere. Retired with 26 wins, including two Melbourne Cups, Peter Pan returned to where he was born. His Whittingham stable still there, but he wouldn't grow old with it. He snapped a foreleg. And he didn't die right away from it. He probably had about five to six weeks with that injury and they tried to save him. His owner, Rodney Dangar, spent thousands. He actually sold the house on only a few years after Peter Pan passed away. And I think, you know, I can't say for sure, but I suspect that a bit of a light went out here when that horse passed away. Peter Pan was buried in the property's backyard in 1941. And now those closest to him are supporting calls for a town statue to make sure his legend lives on. We're having a, a breakfast on Tuesday morning for the Melbourne Cup here uh, just because of Peter Pan and uh, hopefully it'll be something that might mm -hmm. get a little bit larger in, in future years so just to uh, bring Peter Pan to light and yeah, help the industry a little bit. So. Mm. Give him the recognition he yeah. deserves. So now that it's written down and, and we're able to keep telling it I, I, I think that his legend will grow now. Nat Wallace, NBN News.